Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's learn about watchers in Vue. Watchers, as the name indicates, allow you to watch any data or computed property and execute some code in response to changes in the value. Let's understand the syntax and usage with a very simple example. We are going to implement a volume tracker. We should be able to see what is the current volume level and increase or decrease the volume level. As you can see, we are starting off with a fresh template block and an empty data object. I'm going to start by defining a data property called volume and initialize it to zero. In the template, I'm going to add an h2 tag. The text is volume tracker and to set some context for our example, in parentheses, I'll mention zero to 20. In the next line, let's display the current volume. So h3 tag, the text is current volume and within the mustache syntax, bind the volume property. Next, let's add two buttons to increase and decrease the volume level. So div tag and within the div tag, add a button. The text is increase and on click of the button, we increment volume by two. Volume plus equals two. I'll make a copy of this button, change the text to decrease and on click of the button, decrement the volume by two. So volume minus equals two. We now have our volume tracker ready. Let's head to the browser and test this out. On page load, you can see that the volume level is at zero. I can increment it and decrement it. The volume tracker works as expected. Now there is a small enhancement that the client wants in our volume tracker. Since the volume can be changed from zero to 20 with 20 being the maximum, the client wants us to add a warning message if the user increases the volume level to 16. Luckily for us, watchers help us with this requirement. Theoretically, the solution is to watch the volume data property and if it reaches 16, we display an alert to the user. Let's understand how to implement this in code. We already know that in our script block, we have a default export. This object can contain the data property, the methods property, and also the computed property. Well, as it turns out, it can contain another property, which is the watch property. This property is an object. The keys in this object correspond to the data or computed properties that you want to watch for a change in value. In our example, we watch the volume property. Each key is assigned a function that will be executed whenever the property value changes. And what is great is that the function automatically receives the updated value as an argument. Let's call the parameter as new value. Now, all we have to do is within the function body, check if the new value is 16 and if it is, alert the user that the volume is high. So if new value is equal to 16, alert listening to a high volume for a long time may damage your hearing. It is as simple as that. Let me format the file and save this and head back to the browser. Initially, the volume is at zero. Let me now increase it to 14. Now, if I click again on the increase button, the alert message is displayed. I acknowledge the alert. And if we check the volume, it has now been updated to 16. Increase it further and there is no warning. So we are able to watch the volume property and execute some code when it reaches a specific value. Although our warning seems to work fine, 
there is one thing to note. If I decrease the volume and the volume reaches 16, we still see the warning. From a user's point of view, it makes sense to show the warning only when the volume is being increased and not when it is being decreased. Let's fix this. If I go back to the watcher, we already know that the new value is automatically given to us as the first argument. Let me tell you that view also gives us the old value as the second argument. We can use this to check if the user is increasing the volume. So the if condition now becomes new value is greater than old value and new value is equal to 16, then display the alert. If we save the file and go back to the browser, increase the volume, we see the alert when increasing from 14 to 16. However, if we increase it to 20 and then start decreasing the volume, we don't see the alert when the volume reaches 16. So that is pretty much the fundamentals about watchers in view. Now one question you might have at this point is, can I use watchers instead of computed properties? After all, both watch for changes in the application data. Well, the answer is yes. Watchers simply provide a more generic way to react to data changes. So technically, you can use watchers similar to computed properties. However, it is not recommended to mimic a computed property as a watcher. If we revisit the full name computed property example, you can see that it is pretty straightforward. If you were to do the same with watchers, it is much more verbose. You definitely don't want to complicate the code when there is a simpler alternative. So here are a few common use cases for computed properties and watchers that I can think of. Use computed properties when you need to compose new data from existing data sources. For example, full name from first name and last name. You can also use computed properties to reduce the length of a variable. For example, when you need to access a deeply nested property in an object and bind it to the template. Computed property will make your template less cluttered. On the other hand, use watchers when you have to check if a property has changed to a favorable value to know if you're ready to perform an action. An example is the warning we displayed when the volume level reached a value of 16 from 14. The example though was to help you understand the concept of watchers. In a practical web application, a very common use case for watchers is when you have to call an API in response to change in data. Another use case would be to apply transitions as watchers give you the start state and the end state. All right, I hope you now have a good idea of what watchers bring to the table in view three. There are a few more details which we haven't covered yet, so let's talk about them in the next video.